Hello everyone and welcome to Game of Tiaras. This is our first one I <laughs> This is our first one I play in about five years? Yeah, five years. So the Drama Club is very honored to be bringing this back this year. I know we've had such a hectic time with COVID and everything, and now it feels like, oh, we can bring stuff back. And this is really amazing. And I just want to thank, oh. <laughs> I'm B. Cohen, and I'm the Drama Club president, and I'm the student director of Game and Tiaras. We didn't plan that, so. <laughs> um, thank you so much for coming out tonight. I'm Dina McCaffrey, and I am the advisor for Drama Club, and I am so fortunate to work with such an incredible team of young professional performers. It has been an absolute joy to do this. I'm also making my directorial debut tonight. I was a theater kid. spent a lot of time showing me the ropes. So thank you. As B mentioned, we are um, having our first play in the five years. So we are so excited to be back on the stage and to bring this really fun comedy to you tonight. But we need your help. Unfortunately, our sound system is under repair. So the main speakers that you see um, up here are not going to be working other than with this handheld microphone. So the stage performers will not have headsets. We called in the B team of sound. So we have <laughs> these microphones here and we have the amazing professional sound man down here, Liam McMonagle, who is gonna help us as best we can. So it's not going to be super loud. So if you could, please silence your cell phones, keep your conversations to a really quiet roar. And um, I, we don't want you to miss any of these um, incredible lines. So they've worked really hard. I'm super proud of them. And we hope that you can sit back and enjoy the show. Once upon a time, in a magical kingdom called England, a mighty king lived in a powerful castle. And although he had everything he ever wanted, the king was also pretty old and stupid. <laughs> he had three daughters, and all of them were really, really beautiful. But the king wasn't satisfied with his super foxy daughters. <laughs> he wanted unconditional love, so long as it didn't require too much effort from him. And as his old age began to creep up on him, he began to think of a plan. A plan that would have some very serious consequences. And so it begins. Do that because we don't have that kind of budget. 
<laughs> Are you kidding me? We're not doing blood. This is a tragedy. I know. No, I mean we're doing a tragedy. We're going to need a lot of blood. <laughs> well, we're going to do something better. Trust me. Are you ready for me? You were a little late on your entrance. Uh, who's this guy? Hi, I'm Lucas. I auditioned for the show, but they said I had to be crew instead. This is our blood packet guy. Whenever blood is spilled on stage, Lucas is going to run out here and attach these colorful red streamers to show the spurting geysers of blood erupting from the dying. It's going to be awesome and symbolic. Can we show up? And I make cool sound effects. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You want us to take it back? Hold up. I said I was the main character. <laughs> no, everyone thinks you're the main character. And then you get shockingly killed very early in the play. And go! Continuing our story in a new and surprising direction. It was the king's 50th birthday. And like any man on his 50th birthday, he was undergoing a crippling midlife crisis. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye. The court of the king, your father, is now in session. Sit, Now, I am a just and righteous king. Yes, you are, sir. Though I am feeling a little insecure about my feelings these days. Totally understandable, completely logical situation. So, daughter, <laughs> I am about to split my kingdom into three parts, and one of you is going to get this. Ooh. And also, one of you is going to get the best part of England, while the other two get the totally lame parts. So, whoever answers this question the best gets the best part of England, the crown, and you can do whatever you want with your daughters. Ooh. I also foresee no problems or jealousy with this. <laughs> that seems like a great idea, Dad. I am not sure we should be doing this. Does she lose? She loses, right? It's over. She lost. No, no, stop. So the question is... <laughs> no, I need a drum roll for this. But I thought it added drama and suspense. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Carry on, then. Who loves me the most? And please be specific in your answer, and feel free to compose a song off the top of your head. Cinderella, my oldest, and meanest daughter, <laughs> first. Thank you, father. Or should I say, best father. There are lots of types of love in the world. There's the love that a muskrat gives to another muskrat. There's the love that an egg gives to a mama bird. But... Best of all these loves is the father-daughter bond. Dad, Daddy, Papa Bear, I have a tattoo of you, you here on my arm. I love you this much. And also, your other two daughters are horrible human beings and should be killed. Just saying. Interesting. I'm glad you learned to read, Cinderella. I learned a lot sleeping by the hearth. Anyways. My second daughter, the Snow Queen, who in no way is an infringement of copyright, seeing as her origin story is public domain. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. When I think of you, Daddy, I think of Sundays grilling out hamburgers and afternoons on the couch watching football and... Did, uh... did you just read that off of that card? Um, what? You bought a Hallmark card for this? Uh, it actually perfectly captures what I wanted to say. That's just your Father's Day card from last year! I will bury this magic kingdom in an endless winter! Stop it! <laughs> Sorry, have it. Uh, well then, I'll do an interpretive dance about how much I love you. Oh, 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 oh stop it, stop it, please stop it. Don't demean yourself by engaging in modern dance. Sorry. Enough! My youngest and favorite daughter. Belle, how much do you love her? I guess it's decent amount. 
What, what was that? I love you about as much as is proper for a daughter to love her father. Now hold on. Did I mention that I'm going through a serious midlife crisis and I need constant validation because I'm insecure about everything? Look, if you want bucket sing, go to Cinderella. Thank you. Or well, my other sister, Elsa. Ellie! My name is Ellie. <laughs> right. Snow Queen. I'm cool. You're cool. Let's just be cool together. That's not exactly what I was looking for. Uh, princess, please, uh, consider your words carefully. Your father loves you most of all, and he's going to disinherit you if you don't get on your knees and kiss the boy that he walks on, so... Sorry, I have good self-respect. Very well. I shall banish you from my kingdom because I'm a great king. Oh, dang it! Anyways, Cinderella, other daughter, I'm going to split the kingdom between the two of you. Yes! I shall initiate your end of terror across my kingdom! I will be worshipped! I will also market my image on plastic cups. And I will come in a kingdom of ice and snow where everyone is forced to sing the same songs that I sing. You will never escape me! I will also be marketing my image on plastic cups. <laughs> well, I'm done here. I'm going to wander the countryside while the two of you tear apart my kingdom. I wish this could all be avoided, but somebody, not naming any names, but her name lines would snap. Thought she would be too cool for dad today. Well, the thousands of senseless lives will fall on your heads. Peace out. <laughs> Little bird. Ten four. <sighs> okay. Alright. Maybe I should have just told my dad that I thought he was great. Oh, but come on. That was just. What's the matter, little girl? I think it's time for some shish for Princess Ball. With a luxury of hot sauce on top, too. That really doesn't help my metaphor, Bob. Sorry. I clam up in these sorts of situations. Can I try again? Yeah. I think it's time for some shishka princess love. And I'll stab you too. It gets to the point. I <laughs> 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 like the looks of this. Help! Help! I need saving! If only there was a prince of some kind nearby. Back up, English dogs! Look at him! Yeah, 
You asked for it. I am now forced to touch you. <laughs> Well, who planned this trip? 
There have been mistakes all around. Oh, well, you know what that means. Oh, come on. I'm your loyal servant, but you can't expect me to give you up. I want to see you capture things. Capture it, sir! Meanwhile, in the Northland, the Snow Queen was busy raising a gigantic, thousand foot tall ice wall, which was totally possible for many new people to build. I'm 
sorry, but that's a little insulting. Oh, sorry. At that very moment, however, Belle was landing on the south coast of Great Britain with her very own <laughs> army of Frenchies. Come, my countrymen. Welcome to England. Sorry, I cannot eat anything here. It's all, how do you say, slop? It does not smell nice here. <laughs> we are not here to engage in a cultural criticism. We're here to stop that, stop that. Hold on, I'm posting to social media. There is no time for social media. We are here to bring back my wife's kingdom. Would you mind? I have a very inspirational speech. We are union. We only march for one and a half hours a day. And besides, <laughs> it's picnic time. Who brought the Pepsi? Um, so, how's the going? We live the good life, even at war. <laughs> I seek Parliament Bell. Right ahead. We're hungry. Would you like some cheese? We have some nice berries here. Oh, okay, I know. What is it that you want? I bring an invitation to you. Is it a peace treaty? Sort of. Cinderella and Prince Charming would like the pleasure of your company at a ball being thrown in the Prince's honor. Oh, it's a ball! Oh, and it's got a theme color. Red. The red ball. That doesn't sound ominous at all. <laughs> Charming was the best parties. <laughs> the king declined to attend the ball because he fell asleep in a ditch. <laughs> This is 
why Dad says you're the worst. <gasps> Throw tantrums like a six-year-old. How old are you? Twenty-five! <laughs> and still throwing tantrums.
dead? <laughs> Barely. I'll take her prisoner. Um, no. Then I'm supposed to clean up after the party. Uh, your friends made the mess. Your friends had fun at the party, too. It's your party. It's your responsibility. Wait a minute. I think I got this. Oh, animal friends. Oh, animal friends. <laughs> Corner of the forest came chipmunks and squirrels and birds. <laughs> Shakespeare invented the evil villain monologue. Now, Cinderella. I go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Not that one either. Right, here we go. By now, my plan is only dimly visible to you. Who is my enemy? Why would they be trying to kill me? These are the questions that will still be going through your head tomorrow as your body hangs from the gallows. Your sisters believe that the crown exists for them, that they'll be in for such a shock when I realize it's their husband who will wield the power. But if they aren't willing to share, well, I've got my plans for that too. Of course, there will be many, many sad people, but that's how the game is played, isn't it? And uh, I left a couple of blank spots here for improv and a couple lines if I felt like it. But for now, I'm just going to practice my smug evil villain laugh. <laughs> Your head is going to be very pretty on a spike. <laughs> this is such a bummer. Bonjour, Sherry. Talking cannabis, who in no way bears any resemblance to a copyrighted piece of intellectual property? Uh, yes, it is I, and even though I'm a talking candle, I'm sure that I can. Ha -ha! By the way, don't try to escape. I'm going to enjoy killing all the animated characters that come and try to save you. Oh dear, I believe he's been snuffed. Or as they say in France, snoofed. <laughs> now, if you don't mind me, I'm just going to stand over here in the corner with my sword drawn for a little while. Ta-ta! <laughs> No! 
war see. <laughs> Two vast armies stood across from each other before they fought for the throne. We need a bigger cast. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just do this Shakespearean style. How does that work? People run off and on stage and swing their swords at each other and say things like, I am for you! Oh. And so the great battle began. No, I guess it's just you and me, pal. Yeah, yeah, so it does. Oh, wait. Can I just. I have a picture of my grandkids here. Would you like to see them? Get back to your stations.
actually stealing this from Shakespeare, you know? Shh! Our audience doesn't know that! Oh, right. Where was I? Oh, yeah.
costumes have helped out so much backstage. We really appreciate you. Oh, right there. Thank you so much. We also have three freshmen who have been operating our music and our lighting throughout this evening. We have Hannah and Tyler, and we have Adriana in the back. So happy to be a teacher every single day. So thank you so much for all your support.